in this tutorial i'm going to discuss one of the very very important interview questions that is double equal operator and equals you can say here matrix most of the time it has been asked in interviews so here now we'll do one thing like see first is we wanted to see from where this equals method exactly comes so equals method which we are talking about is available inside the object class object class is available inside which package so object class is available inside java dot lang package in that now and inside the java dot lang package object class is there and inside the object class equals method is there now equals method is there with the signature like public boolean equals of object o now see here inside the object class the implementation of equals method is there to check the reference you can say of two objects means i can say the default implementation of equals method available inside object class is to check the two object references right references if it is there so now see now it's your choice like see so one i'll talk about here two things number one default implementation available inside object class is there to compare two objects on the basis of reference whereas the second one which is there if you wanted to compare content of two objects if you wanted to compare content of two objects then you have to override equals method inside your class by writing your own logic right so if you are overriding equals method inside your class by writing your own logic then in that case equals method will compare the content of two objects right it is here now and now say when we talk about the operator equals so it is always going to compare the two objects or two instant references or you can say addresses right now here the equals method when we talk about this equals method so equals method has already been over inside overridden inside string class in order to compare the content of two string literals equals method has been overridden inside string class in order to compare the content of two string literals is that okay now again inside this like when we are writing all that so when see here and if anybody says that no equals method is there just to check the content of two objects no it's wrong equals method depend depends on the implementation what implementation where has been written how you have written the implementation if one case one in one case like inside the string class equals method has been overridden to compare the two string literals right or content of two string literals but not in all the cases right so here i'll be showing you by writing the examples like how equals method works in the both cases right so now here i am writing one example to explain you the equals method concepts like how it is going to work now suppose as i am writing one class the class which i am writing is the student class i am writing and when i am writing the student class inside that i am using very uh, basic things small things inside that like 
I am writing int of SID and again I am writing string of here name I am writing fine. In that one default constructor I am defining inside the class and after defining the default constructor I am writing one parameterized constructor. So, string of which one now name I am going to write. Here again, inside that, what we are going to write here is first, this dot SID is equal to, I am writing here SID, this dot name is equal to, I am writing here again name. This is the two things I am writing. So, first is I am writing here student of S 1 is equal to new of student I am writing. Inside that now, I will be providing some values 101 and the name which I am writing is the S O M I am writing. Here again one more student I am defining S 1 is equal to new of student and in that I will be providing the same parameters again. So, here also the same thing I have given and I will be just changing the reference variable name S 2. Now, say here, when I am writing here S 1 is equal to what I am writing now S 2. So, see this both the equal operator which I am using here. This is comparing the address of S 1 and S 2 which is being stored inside that. So, it will always give you the false value. You can go through this like you can see it is giving the false right now here then again. When I wanted to see like S 1 dot equals of I am writing here S 2. What it is going to give you can see that it is also giving false which means this equals method is being used from object class and inside the default implementation of object class is there to override or to compare uh, to compare two objects on the basis of content. So, let us say I will show you the some basic API java dot lang dot object class I am writing. In the object class if you can see there is the equals method which is available. So, this equals method is already been written inside the object class. And this implementation is there to contain or compare the reference on the basis of reference, right. So, now I am using the same. So, it is also giving the false here, but when I wanted to change or when I wanted to check or I wanted to compare two objects on the basis of on the basis of content, then I must have to equals method I am writing here and in the equals method object of O I am writing here. Is it okay? When I am writing object of O, so, so see here, now I will do one thing student of S 1 is equal to see inside object class what you are passing from here student class of this. So, student is the subclass of object class. So, S 2 can be typecasted to the which type now? So, O I am typecasting to the which type now? I am typecasting to the student type here after typecasting to the student type in this. The next things what I will do here is the return I am writing return of what is that now S 1 dot S i d is equal to this dot which is current working object S i d. Now, in that I will be closing it and now I am using and operator here. So, in that again s 1 dot name dot equal. So, see name is what here now? It is in string. So, it will call equals method from which class now? From string class and here I will call this dot which one now? Name in that. Now, we can see what it is going to return the same thing. See initially it was returning false. Now, what it is going to return we can see here. What it is going to return now? True then again, if 
you are writing one another or if you are creating one another object for the student and in that just I am changing the S 2 and here I am writing S 3. So, in that case again I am writing S 1 dot equals of which one now? I am writing here the S 3 I am writing. Now, you can see, see S 1 content is different, S 2 content is different. So, S 1 which is there, S 1 and S 3 contents are different. So, if we are comparing this, it is going to return what now? False. So, again, so this is the overridden that is our implementation. Now, the same thing has been implemented inside the string class and the equals method has been implemented inside string class just to compare the content of two string literals. So, here now again what I want to do in this case like suppose I am writing here string S 1 is equal to I am writing J T C right. I am creating one string object like this way also you can create it that we will see later. There is an another concept called a string constant pool that all things will be discussing in the case of a string topic. S 1 2 is equal to again I am writing called as which one now J T C. Now, see here or that you can write here I am writing what is that new of string I am writing here I can write it here. When both of that I am writing so S 1 1 is equal to I am writing S 1 2. You can see this both is having different addresses. So, it will return false because here also it is going to create the address, but same thing as I told equals method has been overridden inside which one now inside which one now like here I am writing S 1 2. So, when I am doing this, so it will return what it is going to return now you can see that is 2 it is going to return because the com content of these two are the same. So, it is returning the true. So, hope you understand difference between equal operator, double equal operator and equals method. Is that okay? Thank you. And many other methods of object class, all these methods of object class will discuss in the further tutorials. Thank you.